our friend uh, set the tone of this uh, press conference. India and Australia, both of them are enjoying a special strategic partnership relationship. When the new government in Australia came in the first part of the last year, when our leaders met at the Quad platform in the first half of the 20, second half of the 2022, my Prime Minister sent me to Australia in a priority basis. I met my dear friend Jason Clear there. There was a arrangement for <coughs> Australia India Education Council, that's a joint working group kind of thing. I requested them to expand it up to skill and vocational area. Government of Australia, with the blessing of the leaders, rightly accommodate our request. Now the platform will be Australia India Education and Skill Council. The formal meeting will be in the last part of the year. Again, I am inviting my colleague, Mr. Jason Clare and the Honorable Minister of Skill Development of Australia. The size is different uh, in between both of us, but there is a one similarity, there is a common aspiration, there is a common responsibility, there is a common sensitivity towards the humanity by both the countries. That is the primary bond between both of us and my friend, as my friend said, and we both of us strongly believe Education, knowledge is the game changer. Education, knowledge is the engine of the growth. And I am obliged, I am happy to convey this thing. Rightly, Mr. Jason Clear, representing Australia, recognize the strategy of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji in the area of knowledge, which has come out as a beautiful policy, NEP 2020. Lot of things are happening. We have, you all have witnessed this thing, starting from this young student group from Australia to knowledge exchange between different institutions, different MOUs between both the countries, especially in the area of skill development, in the area of school framework, <coughs> in the area of deep tech research. And today, we have a concrete uh, agreement on mutual recognition of degrees. That means a ITI student can now work in Australian mining sector with Indian certificate. Now an Australian undergraduate can join a master's course in India with this recognition mechanism. This kind of free knowledge flow will be there henceforth. There is a lot of sizable Indian students are already studying in Australia. Now, in our mutual discussion, we agreed lot more Australian students will come to India for different courses, courses in advanced tech area, courses in Indian knowledge system, courses in lifestyle, which will lead to the sustainability SDG. By that way, we will achieve the SDG goals. We have some issues regarding student mobility. I am happy to inform all of you the pendency list of visas is gradually reducing in a very fast track. Few months ago it was around a million. Now it is in a way half a million. And my colleague assured me on a priority basis they will clear this pendency in the area of research, in area of institutional collaboration, in area of specific skill development. Australia is totally aligned with us. We have a lot of discussion today. 
since last yesterday i will happy to inform all of you when we request uh, honorable minister jayshan clear prime minister narendra modi has rebuilt the kartavya path he asked me what is this kartavya path i said india is completing 75th year of its independence now prime minister modi gave a clarion call to the countrymen let us work together with responsibility then he immediately agreed we enjoyed the night life in the kartavya path we saw the vibrancy of our citizens in the kartavya path we went up to rashtrapati bhavan and we saw a historical monument in the courtyard of north and south block when this uh, complex was built more than a century years ago the then commonwealth country australia sent a goodwill goodwill pillar where australia to india it has written we never know our high commissioner of australia so that pillar to all of us we enjoyed that also friend this is our depth of our relationship in future more student will come from both side more institutional network will be there from both side at college level at school level at vocational center level and my friend assured us to make india a robust economy to make it number one economy australia will be a good and reliable reliable partner to us and education will be the biggest enabler of that thing thank you friends